Hello and welcome to a movie that demonstrates how to install a mobile compute license file for the Pads Flow software. Now when I mention mobile compute, that term is synonymous with node locked uncounted, so you might hear me use those terms interchangeably during this demonstration. So to start out here you can see my desktop and I've recently installed the Pads Flow software as you can see there. And I've also downloaded my license file from SupportNet. It's site 2811.txt and in that license file I have some mobile compute licenses here that are attached to my USB key and it's these licenses that I wish to install. And I also should mention that we have some floating licenses in this file and these don't apply to my machine. I'm not going to be a, a license server. That's somewhere else in my organization. But I want to make sure that I'm, I don't want to install those on my machine. I just, I just want these mobile compute licenses that I showed you just a moment ago. So using the procedure that I'm going to show you here, it will just extract those mobile compute licenses and install those on your system. So to start out, we go to the Start menu, and then All Programs, and Mentor Graphics SDD and then the PADS Licensing Assistance subfolder and in here you'll see the install license file shortcut with the key icon. Let's go ahead and start that up and we have two options. One is mobile compute node lock licensing and the second one is network floating licensing. Now in this demonstration we're just covering the first option the mobile compute licensing and go ahead and click Next. And this license file dialog is asking for the path to the license file to install. And I just showed you that's on the desktop. But while I'm here, let me show you the download license file link at the bottom here. If you have a license file that you suspect may be outdated, or you don't have your license file at all, you can click this link to go to SupportNet, and you'll have a drop-down box um, where you can select your site number and then it will list you the contents of your license file and give you an option download file button here to download it to the desktop or to your directory of choice and I'm not going to do that since I already have my file but I just wanted to show that you're able to do that and so back to the license file dialog I'll go ahead and click browse and go to my desktop and site 2811 and click OK and then Next and here it's detecting that I need to load drivers for my key. It, it sees I have USB key licenses and it couldn't detect the key on my system and that's why the box is checked there. So I recommend that you keep the defaults on this dialog and then click OK to ensure that the necessary drivers get updated to your system. And with the USB key specifically, it does start out with an uninstall of any existing drivers first. And click OK on that. And then it moves over to installing the current version of the driver, which it's doing here. And the installation is finished. Go ahead and click OK. And if it detects there's already a license file in the target location, which is listed here, and this is the default location for any license file installed in the pads flow, you'll get this dialog. And if you know that this license file that you downloaded has all the new content, perhaps it's based on a new uh, support contract, you could click the replace button. However, if this is just a, an additional license, maybe for an option or two that you want to add to your existing licensing, you'd click append. Now keep in mind, if you click replace, it does make a backup copy of the existing license.txt and puts that into the license files directory. So you can always go back there and retrieve those uh, backed up licenses if need be. So I'm going to go ahead and click replace. And at that point my license installation is complete. And you'll see it set the MGLS license file environment variable to the value of the license file that was just installed. And at this point, I could click licensing to come back around and install another license file or point to a server, but I'm going to go ahead and click done. Thank you.